Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rolitza and this is Readings with Rowley. I hope that you are doing well and you're having a fantastic day. Um, in today's reading, we're going to take a look at the week ahead energy. So this is not a pick a card, it's a collective reading. So um, just keep that in mind. If you're here looking for a pick a card, this is not going to be the right space. But this is a reading where I take a look at collectively what we can expect. So I'm just going to go ahead here and tap right in. Spirit, um, can you please help me to connect to the energy of the collective regarding the week ahead? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for the collective so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. Please continue to keep the collective safe, protected, and guided. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, the first thing I'm hearing is don't dim your light for anyone. So I feel for the collective, it's very important to remember to keep your light, your heart light on, um, to continue to shine outwards and to not let other people question you or make you feel badly about yourself or about any of these things that you're doing. Um, I also feel like someone here could try to solicit you for something and this is going to be really frustrating because this person will not take no for an answer. Another thing I'm picking up here is that some of you need to go through and clear a drawer or something in your home. It seems like a, a very specific location. It's been bothering you. Go clean it before the year ends. It's going to usher in some really nice fresh energy. Someone here could continuously bite their lip or the inside of their cheek. Be careful. I don't know who that's for because you might end up getting some kind of an infection. I'm also seeing an airplane, so it's likely some of you are going to be traveling this week. We're going to start off with like event cards. What can they expect this week? I'm going to do three, actually. What can they expect this week? Two. All right, let's take a look. We have Valley Deep Personal Strength and Peace that assures success. That's really beautiful. I think some of you guys have been really working a long time on yourselves. Um, you're really starting to understand your own energy a little bit more clearly. It's like you're starting to see cut through some of the BS. You're starting to, to be more aware energetically of like the work you've been putting in to grow, the work you've been putting in to get to the next level of your life. And Spirit's really proud of you. Some of you may want to plan a retreat or maybe a day away where you can just kind of reconnect and give yourself a pat on the back for everything that you've done because I'm really seeing that as being a big thing here. We have dog far away. A distant friend is thinking about you. It could be a reconnection with an old friend, somebody from the past. Someone here may have a dog or you may need to spend additional time, money, or um, just effort with your dog this week. It's funny because I was hearing the word berserk. <laughs> so someone's dog may go berserk this week or you may have to just like intervene in something like that. Just, be, just a heads up because that was coming through a little bit. Um, but yeah, there's definitely this energy of somebody or for connecting to you energetically. This person feels like they want to talk to you or they want to have some sort of opportunity to clear things with you, but they could be at a distance here. We also have bowl, plenty of material things. Well, I mean, it is holidays. So, so some of you may be receiving gifts or presents this week. Um, you may just be feeling very, very happy about your, your life and what you have for yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like there's this energy of feeling like, I feel good. Like, look at all these things that I've managed to acquire. Like, I deserve, you know, these things and I'm feeling very positive about them. So that's definitely an energy I'm picking up this week. Money is going to be flowing quite well. So don't worry about that. We have the Eight of Cups. What else, please? I keep seeing the Ace of Cups here. So there's definitely recon re reconciliation here. We have movement. What's interesting is driving, there's like an underlying driving force this week to move into more balance for yourself. I'm really feeling that. So for some of you, I feel like there's going to be a, a lot of emphasis on moving away from something that was creating anxiety in your life or being more flexible, being more changeable so that you can step into the highest possible version of yourself or of what's available for you. You might be very sensitive to smells this week. Some of you may go to a baseball game or get baseball tickets, but there's a lot of movement. It's going to be a busy week. Your emotional state may be a little bit like a little bit detached or a little bit hot and cold. Um, so just keep that in mind. Pile number, not pile. <laughs> What's the energy of the collective for the week ahead? What do we need to know? Please? Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, okay. Wow, we have achievement, completion, and reward. And this one also fell out. We have balance, centered energy, self-care. So some of you are achieving something here um, that is going to make you feel very, very happy. You know, you do need to celebrate whatever this win is. For others of you, though, I feel like you've been throwing yourself off balance because you've been trying to complete this. You know what I mean? It's like you've been pushing and pushing and pushing and trying to complete whatever this thing is. And it's really managed to sort of throw you off of your game. So one of the things that I'm seeing this week is a real need for self-centering, um, self-care if you can. I know we're in a very busy season for most of us, but honestly, finding like an extra hour to take a bath or to put a face mask on or even just to sleep in, all of that is going to be very, very crucial, especially because we have the solstice this week, you guys. So the energy is like we're literally coming towards the darkest night of the year um, for those of us here in the Western Hemisphere. So self-care is really going to be important, but also I, I get the drive to create something for yourself. I totally get it. But at the same time, you also have to make sure you're being kind towards yourself. What else, please? Pile number three. Why am I seeing pile number three? <sighs> what else for the collective, please, for the week ahead? Some of you might be just watching a lot of pick of cards. Yeah, we have angels of the seven chakras, power, truth, and connection. Y you guys would really benefit a lot from meditation. You would benefit a lot from really reconnecting to your energy. Um, and from even like running like Hertz music, that's H-E-R-T-Z, anything to kind of feel more balanced is going to be huge for you. It will help you so, so, so much. Feel happy, feel alert, just feel like you're ready to take accountability and to step forward. Because I definitely get the feeling here that you've been, you know, a little bit overwhelmed and it's time to get back to yourself. I know meditation, it just, it always sounds like such a catchy word, you know, like, oh, just meditate, just meditate. But I genuinely think it will be a very positive thing to work with for you guys. You'll be feeling very, very good about yourself if you are able to tap into that. What else here? We have sheep act with fortitude and cooperation. Whenever I think of sheep, I always think of Jesus Christ. So for some of you, you could be working with Christ consciousness this week, um, which I think is beautiful. For others of you, I feel like you're kind of frustrated with maybe the group thinking around you and you might be wanting to rock the boat a little bit. Maybe you're asking yourself, is this the right time? For others of you, I just feel like there's a need to help, you know, think of the group this week. Could be somebody around you who's being very, very arrogant as well. And one thing I'm hearing is to not lash out at this person, even though I think part of you will really want to, because whoever they are, they seem like they're just really weighing heavily on you. Um, but there's this strong need to just be very mindful of the way you're interacting with people. And again, adopt a cooperative spirit. I know it's hard. I know it's annoying too. Um, but there's something really important about that. I really get that. There's something really, really important about having this, this general collective energy and focusing a lot on collectiveness. I feel like that's something I'm picking up on quite a lot. What else? We have Kingfisher, be patient and focused. And we have a raven, prepare for change. Um, a lot of birds here. <laughs> okay, so pay close attention. You might see a lot of birds around you. Um, it's funny too, because the raven card came out originally in reverse. I was told to reverse it so it's upright. But for some of you, with that prepare for change, you might be feeling like maybe you're not super prepared for change. And that could be something that's been really bothering you for a while. You know, maybe you're wondering like, when is this going to change to my benefit? When am I going to be able to have what I want? You know, there's just like this frequency of needing to remember that everything happens at perfect timing even though we may not feel like that <laughs> it's okay to feel frustrated but there's definitely a lot going on behind the scenes here i'm hearing that you're not fully aware of but there seems to be a lot of emphasis this week on group being kind 
um, and just kind of like not rocking the boat <laughs> is really coming through. What else? We have the collective fields impacting new unseen forces in action. How can you relinquish control of the situation that feels blocked? <sighs> yeah, I think for some of you, there's a lot of energy around picking up on other people or feeling like you have to pick up on other people or you're supposed to pick up on other people um, or kind of account for other people's like emptiness. There, for some of you too, I just, I, I feel like for this group, you guys might be considered just empathic, you know? Um, and what that means is oftentimes you can be more intensely feeling than the, the average person. That's not a bad thing, but it is definitely something to be aware of. You might want to like open up other people's eyes around you to, to these things, but there's definitely this need for you to not do that um, because it, they're not going to be receptive to you right now. So while I understand the desire to maybe make a change or, you know, ask people to consider things from your direction, it's just like there's a need to really be careful about where you're expending your energy this week, you guys. I know that sounds, that's annoying to hear. Maybe you guys are upset with me for saying that, but I'm really not meaning to upset you. I just feel like it's something that's coming through as important. What else? We have, you're the image maker. What you focus on manifests. What thought patterns do you need to shift? Look, uh, where, is this Joe Dispenza? I'm not really sure, but I think I was reading a quote somewhere that said something like, the way you spend your energy is the way you spend your life. So that's really strongly coming through here as well. You know, I want you guys to really remember that whatever you're focusing on is going to be expanding. So how can you create more balance in terms of thinking about things? Um, more balance in terms of feeling like what you're focusing on is what you're actually looking to manifest. Please be mindful of that too. You guys do not want to spend a lot of time thinking about stuff that you don't want to have happen because I'm telling you, that's like not a good approach to take, okay? So just keep that in mind. But yeah, it, it's like going to be a bit of like an emotional week. I am feeling that. Some of you are really going to be, you know, going into a little bit of like dark night of the soul energy. Tell me more. Of lucky sleeping and he was just growling in his sleep so some of you may have nightmares wow we have everything is a reflection hold up the energetic mirror what do you need in your life that you're not currently getting yeah i was reading this book and it was talking all about how you know in order to get to what you want you don't have to focus on like manifesting what you want but you have to focus on the feeling um so i want you guys to really be aware energetically that what you're putting out there this week is going to be echoed back to you so how can you be more open how can you be more um happy how can you be more understanding of other people like let's say you feel like everybody's misunderstanding you well how can you also start to try to understand other people there's like a really big mirroring energy coming forth for the collective this week so I guess depending then, with that being said, depending on what you're focusing on is kind of dependent on how your week is going to look. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, there's definitely a strong energy of like feeling a bit frustrated or feeling like you, you'd like to make some kind of a change here when it comes to the people around you, but it all starts from within. What else, please? That's a collective need to know for this week. What else, please? We have individuality. Each person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. Yeah, there's like going to be a bit of a conflict this week between yourself and the collective, between what you want versus what the collective wants. You may also have to yield to like the broader group. Like let's say you want to do something different for Christmas. You want to go ice skating, but everybody else wants to go tobogganing. Well, okay, like is this a battle you'd like to really sink your teeth into? Um, and it's funny here too. I, I just definitely feel like you guys want to be open-hearted this week, but you're a bit triggered. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's not a bad thing, but it is just something to be aware of so you can approach the week in the best possible scenario or in the most balanced way, I guess. Um, some of you here may also be, you know, drinking quite a lot this week, so just be careful about that or make sure that you're also having a lot of water. Um, I'm also hearing slip, so be careful because someone here could slip, especially if you live in somewhere that's icy. Um, that could definitely be a possibility and you don't want to do that. 
so yes, that's what I have. I'm sending you a big hug. We'll talk later. Have a wonderful week, you guys. Mwah.